a lot of uh, this old infrastructure yeah. from the colonial era which we are still using yes so the question is do we replace or do we renovate mm -hmm. uh, that is a challenging question mm -hmm. we've talked about the budget because every decisions that we take uh, will be uh, subject to uh, funding yes. uh, or otherwise mm -hmm. uh, in order to uh, implement the decisions that we take so we have a lot of this old infrastructure that we inherited we have been inheriting over the years right. i came over as minister for defense mm -hmm. we still have there has been a lot of growth mm -hmm. in the urban centers in fiji right but the police stations are the police stations from the colonial days yes <clears throat> in lombasa mm -hmm. you see it in totong you see it in Nakasi, you see it in Otoka, you see it in Nandi, you right. see it in Walelew, mm. old infrastructure. Have we replaced some? We have. Right. But the gov next government has to pick up and continue. Right. Whether that will happen? CWM has been there for ages. Yes. There has been a new extension, thankful to our Japanese uh, Oh, and annex to the existing CWM. Yes. Thank you to the Japanese government. Right. I toured CWM with uh, the, the Honorable Prime Minister and uh, the Minister for Health during COVID. Yes. When we were looking at, uh, you know, they admitted mm -hmm. this is the medical superintendent at the hospital that they have not been able to do most of the major renovations at CWM simply right. because of the uh, occupancy rate over the years. Right. Uh, let's accept the fact that uh, we have serious uh, health problems as well. Yes. You know, when it comes to NCDs and whatever. Mm -hmm. So CWM unfortunately has always been filled to capacity right. because of what's available at CWM that is not available in the subdivisional or divisional hospitals. Right. Most of the cases have to be referred to. So let's uh, come or look at this issue with an open mind. Right. Uh, let's give some respect and, and uh, credit as well to the health officials. Right. But I do admit the fact that Mm -hmm. Some or most of these old systems, again, mm -hmm. do we replace them or do we uh, renovate or refurbish? That is the question. Right. And it comes back to allocation. Right. We inherited it. Mm -hmm. We have done some of what we can do. Right. And we are passing it on to. You cannot judge mm -hmm. uh, the state of CDM just from uh, a missing doorknob. Right. And this has been coming from them over the last few years. Mm -hmm. There has been some renovations right. in uh, CWM. Mm -hmm. uh, the operating data. Yes. Uh, during the Fiji First government, uh, a lot of work was done in that. Uh, CT scan, MRIs. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I don't have the full list yes. of things that, that were done. Mm. And look at uh, within the Suba Nasinu, uh, the work undertaken in Makoi in, uh, in Nine Miles, mm. new health facilities. You go to Rotuma, mm. Kandavu, uh, sorry, uh, Lambasa, right. Nabosa. That's in terms of infrastructure. Right. That has to continue. Right. But maintenance, of course, we admit as well that yeah. there's a lot of maintenance that needs to be done. Right. And uh, looking at the budget, the current government, coalition government, yeah. they are focusing more now on maintenance, right. nothing new, right. no new infrastructure. Right. It's their call. Yes. But then yeah. uh, we have work to do in that area. On the other hand, I've said that's infrastructure. Right. In terms of the health systems and yes. the people in Fiji, uh, I can still say that we are quite privileged mm -hmm. and fortunate that we have a very capable, professional, right. uh, highly qu qualified people mm -hmm. in our health services. We did our best right. to raise uh, the terms and conditions. Right. We are a government that did, I think, the most significant mm -hmm. in order to keep our people here. Right. 
a lot of them are migrating. Mm -hmm. There are greener pastures abroad. Yes. In the UAE, in Australia, in New Zealand, how do we keep them? Mm -hmm. We must create the best environment for them and terms and conditions, particularly in terms of pay, that's something that... Uh, okay. And the continuous uh, capacity development, mm -hmm. uh, that needs to, again, uh, I would say, of course, I admit the fact that there are issues. Yes. We do what we can. And of course, the next government has to continue. And mm. we expect more right. from the next government, right. from the current government. They have to do more, mm. not only in terms of maintenance, right. but we want to see them building new hospitals. <laughs> I'm from Korbu in Talib. Right. That hospital has been there since 1975. Yes. I hope that they can do something yeah. new <laughs> to that hospital in Korbo Telem. They, they might argue that uh, you should have done that in the past uh, two terms. <laughs> we did Novosa. <laughs>